And welcome back, folks, to GSA, our 70 star tournament. We've got D whatever in one corner of this ring and Sagotu in the other. My name is Electric, and here co coming with me is Ruby Sari. How you doing today, Ruby? I'm doing uh, pretty swell. Looking forward to this race. You know, we've got D whatever, one of the top runners on N64, Sagotu, keyboard legend. You know, um, looking like it'll be shaping up for a good match absolutely um, we see these guys yeah. already getting that countdown and getting started and synced up before we get too heavy into this saucy action one quick shout out to the sponsor of this and our other two currently ongoing tournaments vi.gg exclamation point bet in the chat if you want to go check them out they've got a special promo for gsa viewers they'll compensate up to 20 pounds if that first bets i lost so Go check them out. I mean, sponsoring three tournaments before the end of 2018, that's pretty awesome on their part. Now, you see both of these guys on English today, so none of that version different shenanigans. Nobody's going to be able to blame Japanese if they happen to lose by a second or two. Yeah, but... Uh, I mean, there's definitely the uh, uh, difference in version with N64 simulator, but... I mean, it, it should just be a good race hit either way. Both these runners are very, very good at what they do. And we'll be seeing them going for lack two skip at the start here. Do you ever go for a bit of different movement with the rollouts? And a pretty nice start from both of them. Yeah, always a shame to see people fail lack of two skip, but hey, it's a nice little mistake to make and just get out of the way. Get yourself, you know, all cleaned up, ready to go into some of these much harder tricks throughout this run. Already going into bomb clip. Let's see how they finagle this bomb to get themselves through this cage. Yeah, bomb clip, one of the first tricks people will generally learn in this game. Both of them getting pretty nice bombs and getting into those cages very quickly. Yeah, and even though it's one of the first tricks, still one of the more difficult ones. If I remember correctly, it is close to, if not frame perfect, to get that right bomb grab to get that slide. Yeah, it, it's uh, frame perfect to get the biggest bomb to save the most time, but you, you can make it with most uh, speeds other than like the smallest, smallest bomb. So, and yeah, we see do have a bit of dust on the way into slide, but not a oh. huge deal. Both going for the Womps 9 route, or sorry, Womps 10 route. Uh, no, Womp, Womps 10 would be with uh, Island Top, so it, it is uh, oh, Womps yeah. 9 they're going for. Commentator forgetting how to count for a moment, and, but both these guys not forgetting the slide. Yeah, 12.5 from Sigurdsu, that is one of the best times that you can get without doing a setup. If not the best, that is a very good sign from Sigurdsu. Yeah, not messing 12. around here.
Go! Let's go! Let's go!
Go! Let's go! Juicy D whatever with that super reliable Mips, gra Mips grab and going into pillarless while Sagotu finishes off Big Boo's haunt. Sorry, ooh, D whatever having a bit of issues with his angle on pillarless. Managing to save it though, he's getting uh, managing to get over the uh, sand dune. 
getting onto the pyramid and getting inside. So, Sigurdu about to finish up uh, Big Boo's haunt, and it seems to do whatever. Um, seems like he's doing a CCM 17, by the looks of things, and that's perhaps cool. doing uh, double pillarless. Yeah, going yep, for a second pillarless here. What a mad lad over here, folks. And going for Tama Plus this time. Getting onto the pyramid very quickly. Beautiful. On the edge. Oh! In okay, he's, he managed to stay clipped inside the pyramid, so he manages to save it. Um, yeah, do whatever, clutching these uh, pillarlesses, having a bit of trouble getting down. But uh, yeah, so go to bit of a uh, difference in route here. Um, obviously, do whatever, doing pillarless twice to get this extra star here. And Sigotu will not need to do that. Yep, Sigotu obviously on CCM 18. Both these guys on pace to do HMC late due to D whatever double pillarless. And, you know, I think that decision is going to pretty well leave him with a nice lead. He's going to have to make a few substantial mistakes in order to put Sigotu ahead after that. Um, I believe CCM 17 with double pillarless is the optimal route for 70 star, followed by CCM 18, and then of course CCM 17 with HMC early. Yeah, and that, that'll be a thing. That, uh, I, I feel like both runners will be going for HMC late. And Sigotu also going for a Tama Plus. Oh, the but ending up and... taking a death, just waiting a little bit too long on that quicksand to go ahead and do a jump ground pound. That's going to yeah. hurt. Not able to get the double jump. Uh, while uh, do whatever, finishing up here in Shifting Sandland. While uh, Sigotu is going to be going for another uh, Plus, but doesn't get the uh, re-grab on the bomb. Not nice liking to get over that um, fence. Doesn't look nah. like he was on pace to be able to use Talon as a backup, unfortunately. Yeah, get, if you uh, get over the sand dune and you um, yeah, get in that situation, it's tricky to know how to back it up exactly. Do whatever, getting his bum burned on his way to LOL red coins. So he goes to going for another tower plus. Oh, has but too just bad of an angle right in the middle of that sand whirlpool. That is just so unfortunate for Sagotu at the moment. This is rough. Two deaths yeah, in SSL, course, uh... having to use one of his backups. Yeah, Sagotu has got to get uh, this plus going. Does manage to get onto the pyramid this time. Yep, going under the danger him, box. Uh, okay, so pillarless done, but at what cost for Sagotu? Meanwhile, D whatever having troubles getting that triple jump on top of the arch ends up with that second try. Nice log rolling start. No logs, no rolling involved here, folks. I go fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, props to Sagotu for sticking with uh, his guns and going for time with pillarless. That is an impressive strat to go for. So, exactly. I mean, at least we got to see him do it. But, I mean, it's certainly not the worst loss we've ever seen. We've seen some players actually having to opt for the shell and pillars strat, not even able to skip the pillars. D whatever, going for his lava boost, and it's good. Kind of a non-traditional setup looks like. Yeah, also managing to get the uh, the sink, uh, double jump there onto the bottom of the pole, and then long jump wall kick, saving just a little bit of extra time. So Sigotu well, uh, now Sigotu. joining him in lethal, lethal, lethalness. Yeah, you know, opting lethal, for lethal. the standard triple jump strat. You don't see that one every day. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's a new one I haven't seen. Um, yeah, to so go to obviously having to adapt his gameplay as a keyboard runner over uh, a traditional analog stick on the controller. But uh, exactly right. I mean, he he's got a very good time considering. Uh, yeah, to go to definitely, um, definitely, you know, not shying away from the from the strats here. Very nice lava boost from him. As do whatever going for the uh, bullies. See if he can get the triple kill here. Ooh, very nice triple kill. Looks like those bullies took their medication this morning. You know, graduated from the ma their anger management classes. They're ready to re be reborn. And here comes Mario, just wham, slamming them right into the lava all over. Go to and, uh, now handling this big bully. Yeah, very uh, quick dispatch of that big bully. One star left here for D whatever. 
going to be going into the pyramid for that one. And we will likely be seeing him going into Dai Dai Docks after this. Yep, can't see any reason he'd go for HMC early at the moment. And uh, DDD has kind of a nice little break, you know, big swimming sections. And it's really that last little reprieve before you have to go through the gauntlet that is Fire Sea, where we could see this lead dramatically change if D whatever just can't hold it together, get those early LEs. Yeah, Bowser in the Fire Sea. We, we know, of course, D whatever, uh, a very, very uh, talented runner. He is going to be going for that. Uh, lava boost early elevator cycle which is uh, arguably the hardest uh, star in the game to do um, with that lava boost early elevator cycle but yeah like you said a little bit of calm before the storm here in Dai Dai Docks uh, well let's see go to getting gonna be getting his 29th star uh -oh. but not okay. getting the triple kill Barely avoiding the bully glitch looks like. That's kind of scary when you fall in with those bullies. If you hit lava at the same frame they do, they cannot die, and you have to back up with a completely separate star. Yeah, we've seen that uh, happen a few times. Um, just during people's runs. It, it really does just completely derail a run when that happens. And especially if you were to do that star last, then you'd have to just reload the stage so he goes through missing his long jump and getting burned on the way to the volcano yep now he's gonna have to get this elevator right first try he doesn't really have another good opportunity to uh reclaim health or anything like that fortunately doesn't have to worry at all about the fire bars and nice he is also done with lll meanwhile we see d whatever peacefully swimming through the, the a gracious animal in this veritable sea we see him advancing now to the front of the submarine. Now, here on National Geographic, you know, we've seen a lot of people attempt this strat to get into the nest. D whatever, having a little bit of issues, having to realign, eating a little bit of lag from N64. Ooh, just the gracious animal cannot get up back into his nest, but eventually seems to get it. So go to joining him in his homeland. Yeah, it's a very uh, peaceful swim here. Gonna be seeing Dio ever re-enter to try and swim through the Manta Rings while Sigosu has a bit of trouble with these chests in the current. Yep, with those dough hands, the Mario is unfortunately unable to reliably open locks. D whatever following graciously behind the Manta Ray. The Manta deciding not to take an additional casualty today. And with that, D whatever is now moving into Fire Sea while Sagotu is still in that National Geographic level calm of DDD. So all eyes on D whatever at the moment to see if he can clutch out Lava Boost. Yeah, uh, it's going to be very tricky. I mean, D whatever, he's a very, very good runner. I, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do it, but obviously things can go wrong. Looking like a very good start here. Getting a, a side flip there, a little bit slow, but I, I feel like he should be able to still get the lava boost cycle. Absolutely. And with that uh, triple jump up the elevator, I think he's good. Yep. And he gets up there. Very nice. And Sigurtu setting up to go to the back of the submarine. And just rather having a, a, a good old dive and uh, trip along the submarine. As the yeah. finishes up, Bowser in the fire sea, red coins. Not really getting any sort of ending there. You know, looked like he was going to try to go for bad ending, uh, having to slap that heart in advance, but not able to get that heart slap. Meanwhile, Sagotu peacefully swimming, making his way up the safe route back home after the winter and following graciously behind the mantra as well. Just Manta Ray. Manta Ray being very nice to our runners today. And Sagotu. We'll now be going into Bowser in the Fire Sea as well. We'll see if he can get that early elevator cycle while do whatever, throwing the big turtle into the bomb. Yep, so do whatever, you know, not taking that costly miss there. Unfortunately, it is the longest Bowser throw to miss since he's got to realign that stage, you know. He's got to get himself QPU realigned before he can really fight Mario again. 
Oh, oh but to go to going a bit too far on that wall kick. Look like he double first sees oh. it looked like. Okay, so um I, I imagine I would save a little bit of time then and not have the uh you know the uh, Goomba RNG involved. But uh, unfortunately didn't uh, grab that red coin on the way down. Should still be able to make an early elevator cycle if you can get this triple jump. And just about makes it. Get that nice little ledge grab there. Just barely on the verge of having to wait through that whole cycle. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't actually think he was able to grab that red coin, but just barely able to clutch it out. Interesting camera angle there. Probably another one of those keyboard only strats. If he would ever start off his wet dry world 100, opting for a bit drier of a world today, you know, water world, not exactly the most accurate prophetic movie. Yeah, definitely. Uh, th this is uh, in 70 star. Oh, getting a bunk on the uh, on the secret box there. Uh, this star uh, is, I'd say, the uh, most RNG uh, involved star in 70 star. You know, with all the coin boxes, I suppose uh, TTC 100 could also fall into that. To go to a big throw from him, getting Bowser way up in the air to land on the bomb. And uh, do whatever. 86 coins. He can miss one from this chucker here. Um, Going to be having that extra coin. Going for the last row of five. Getting deep, shot. So in zappers, they just they can be ruthless. So he's opting to miss that one coin at the very beginning of the line, saving just a hair of a second. So overall, great 100 coin from D whatever. You see Sagotu about to join him in the upstairs segment. Just one Wet Dry World 100 coin behind. And it's pretty interesting. The Wet Dry World 100 is one of the few very unique strats to 70 stars. Since in 120, 100 coin is actually paired with the red coins downtown. Yeah, one for, that... uh, for, for less experienced runners, they may opt to do the 70 star uh, movement with it. With the 100 coins with the secrets. Do whatever missing the wall kick there. Uh, trying to save a couple of seconds on... Uh, Going for it again. He's going to try and get this wall kick, get around, and gets onto that platform. Yep, going to have to do these uh, being, wall kicks now. With that trick being so difficult, the side flip actually adds a lot to the consistency, surprisingly. Gets you just in that really optimal position to go ahead and execute the rest of the triple jump. Yeah, of course. Uh, optimally, you would just do a, uh, a kick to start the triple jump, but yeah, the side flip can just align you up to do it and we'll probably see do over going for it again oh Ooh, getting uh, yeah just a little bit too far to the right no problem though he can just go around back it up and be done with that star well uh, so go to also with an extra coin here in 100 coins missing the one there absolutely fine but not getting across He's, he may uh yeah be doing some war kicks here to get himself back up this this can be quite awkward. You have to really uh, get different heights on your uh, wall kicks to not uh, clip the railing. But uh, to go to familiar with the backup, able to get back up there and finish off this hundred coin. We've got this the water level as well. grabs right here. <laughs> Mario just you know taking a little bit of a swim after grabbing that star. Could be drowning. Commentators not quite sure. While well, D whatever moves into his tiny huge island. Let's see how good he is with these secrets. Yeah, I feel like Mario was uh, taken out of the wet dry world level fairly quickly. Doesn't have to worry about drowning, thankfully. Um, but uh, to go to also not getting that wall kick. Uh, able to just go around though to lower this platform. And looking like a very uh, smooth secrets there from D whatever. So to go to with better overall uh, elevator execution there but do whatever he knows he's in the lead not giving him much room to operate a little bit of camera operation there to align himself just in the right place to re-enter this painting and you know that that really begets the question does mario actually get taken out of the level or is it a different mario every time ooze to go to missing it looks like he side flipped a little bit too far backwards D whatever saving that uh pluck the piranha plant star for last not opting for mountain clip don't blame him it's only about a second saved but 
or if even that. I know that the sideways route is just as fast almost. Yeah, I, I think the, uh, the mountain clip saves maybe like eight tenths of a second. It's really not really uh, too worth it unless you're very, very uh, confident with it. But uh, yeah, do whatever, like you said, going to be plucking the piranha plants last here. Wow, uh, Sigosu so going to be finishing up Wet Dry World as well. But uh, you, you got to wonder, though, like if, if these stages have kind of a destroy everything command and Mario just gets left behind, destroyed with everything else in the stage, and you see a fresh, brand new digital Italian plumber pop out of that painting. You know, commentators questioning Mario's existential crises. I, mean, I, I like to think it's the same Mario. He controls just the same, you know. I, I feel like it would be the same Mario just being transported to different worlds. You know, it could but be cloning centers. Soon. Well, uh, it, I mean, if you want to think that, <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> I won't, uh, won't question it, I suppose. But uh, to go to also with a decently smooth uh, secrets here. Nice, getting that Skipping good ending. That Having a little bit of a smash on Mario there. Definitely think if it's the same Mario, he's going to need a chiropractor right now. Commentator just cannot drop his insane conspiracy theories. While well, D-Whatever going for the log kick, and it works out for him. Nice, fast uh, get up on top of that slope there. We see some people having to just do kick after kick. Wasting a little bit of time, but much better than the alternative falling right down the bottom. Oh, and to go to going for that mountain clip, as we said. Saving that little bit of time. A very, very nice start from him. All right, so these two players pretty close together at the moment. Let's see if D-Whatever can clutch a second clean mountain clip, and it's good. Yeah, going for the log wall kick once again. Getting that ledge grab right in the corner, triple jump, and not having to do the kicks. Yep, just going straight to the top of this mountain. Uh, for those viewers confused on exactly what's happening with mountain clip, uh, in this game, if Mario's swimming, and he moves into a position where there's a body of water above him, the game will upwarp him into that body of water for whatever reason. And the actual clip, uh, they execute a rollout on a very precise moment whenever they hit the mountain, and it forces Mario's hitbox partway through the mountain just enough to actually clip straight through. But we see D whatever finish with those mountain clips, gonna be going for the red coins now, taking a bonk there after a really, really clean first segment. Yeah, that, that was a good start to the red coins, but having a bit of trouble here in the latter half. Going for these last four red coins. Not bothering with that side flip uh, wall kick for the final red coin. But, I mean, in the lead at the moment, um, if, if he continues to make these small mistakes, then maybe he could allow Sigotu to catch up. Sigotu going straight for Breezeless, looks like. And it's a bold move, and he very gets nice. it. Pays off nicely for it. And do whatever. Also going to be going for that. I, I wonder if that is something that may be a little bit more uh, comfortable on keyboard for him. Um, maybe like the angles are uh, easier. I, I wouldn't know. But uh, Sigoto obviously been running on keyboard for a while, so he knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing. Do whatever. Also getting that uh, very nice breezeless. Double breezeless. I, I don't know um, if we've seen that yet. I, I know we've seen runners definitely going for breezeless. But um, not two in the same yeah. race, I don't think. And to, for both of them to get it, that just shows the skill level that we're dealing with. Yeah, round of 16, of course. Uh, we are getting into, you know, past all the group stages and we're getting some really, really good runners in this. Uh, coming up to the end of this tournament um, do whatever not quite getting the uh, the fast snowman's head he would have liked but managing to back it up meanwhile Sagotu nicely. Sagotu having a bit of an issue with uh, the wall kick to get on top of the mountain there but fortunately able to do a kick and bring himself back onto the ledge to go ahead and attempt one more time so he's about to be closing out his tall tall mountain gonna be doing box jump here in just a sec and, you know, the placement of this box almost makes you wonder if this is sort of a dev-intended strap. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't really think so. I think maybe the devs were just intending for you to use the box to go towards the ring of eight coins. 
But um, yeah, so going to getting bonked by uh, the Goomba there. Going to be going for the red coins here. Soon to be joining Do Whatever in Snowman's Land. Do Whatever. Uh, wanting to get the triple jump and Sigatsu missing a red coin of falling oh, taking on the mushrooms. Back for it. That is a rough death to take at this moment. I mean, D whatever, leaving a little bit of time on the floor, not liking his setup for in the deep freeze. That's something that Sigotu could have capitalized on, but at the moment having to deal with his own mistakes. And yeah, that, that camera setup that he must be using for keyboard, leading himself to kind of be vulnerable to the Goomba RNG ultimately. The Goombas kind of move around a bit, kind of unpredictable. D whatever with a nice bully star. Now Sigotu, although he took that first death, overall his red coin execution is better. Having issues with that side flip up to the top. Definitely couldn't imagine having to do side flips on a key. It'd be pretty rough. Honestly, I'm, I'm surprised any of what Sigoto is doing is possible on keyboard, but, uh, you know, he, we don't call him the keyboard legend for nothing. Exactly right. Now, I wonder if he may decide to actually invest in a smash box. Have you heard about those yet? I have not, no. Yeah, it's a uh, con special controller that's being... Oh, D-whatever missing that MIPS grab. So he's pretty well hemorrhaging that second and more that he would have saved due to this route uh, doing HMC late. Just cannot yeah, get his it. hands on MIP. Chasing MIPs around in the basement. You know, that, that could be, again, something Sigotsu could maybe capitalize on to save some time. We have got Tippy coming up after this HMC, so we could see potentially Sigotsu catching up, but D whatever getting a bunk on his way to the HMC door. Now, D whatever having his own issues, having a bit of an issue with Snowman's head as well. And Sigosu with a nice uh, double jump kick onto the deep freeze uh, ice cube there. Very nice from him. So we Just see D whatever now entering HMC, that hazy maze cave. You know, with the, if you've ever watched one of my comms before, you know that I personally believe. Princess Peach is an oil baron, and this is just one of her victims. This cave, this cave, probably full of vibrant life before, but now it's all hazy. There's toxins down there. D whatever can't even get this triple jump. You know, Mario's kind of suffering from that unclean air. And Electric, full of the conspiracies in this uh, 70 star tournament, sponsored by Vi.gg. Type exclamation mark bet in the chat if you want to find out more about that. And yeah, so. Sigotu about to be joining D Whatever in the basement once again uh, as he finishes off this uh, ice bully here. And uh, yeah, D Whatever grabbing his 50 sip star. That nice, amazing emergency exit, but not even having to touch the maze. Just that one nice long jump gets him where he needs to go there. And. Yeah, I mean, uh, with Vi.gg, no conspiracies here about the house always winning. You're always doing PvP betting. So again, exclamation point bet in the chat to check them out. Do whatever. Going to be going for Christmas Miracle now. We'll see if he's able to get it first try. So go to getting ready for his own MIPS grab. Let's we'll see if he can capitalize on all those errors D whatever made. Oh, oh and missing MIPS grab, grab himself. I uh, could still save a little bit of time, not chasing MIPS around quite as much, but that is definitely... A bit of time lost that he could have made up, but um, yeah, maybe uh, he could make up a bit of time. Uh, we saw Dio ever having a bit of trouble with the uh, box jump in HMC. If uh, Sigurdsson can, you know, get a very clean HMC, uh, maybe catching up as we approach uh, Tippy. Yep. And I mean, you really have to wonder about why exactly Sigotu went for that punch grab, especially if he knows he's behind, not saving that much time. Yeah, I mean, the, the punch grab, if, if he uh, normally goes for it and runs, then I don't see why he wouldn't uh, want to go for it. But yeah, missing that punch grab, not able to save the time. A very nice uh, zoom in camera there to uh, get a lot of extra speed uh, on the slide. To get to uh, wall kicks, will uh, not that's that's not wall kicks will work. That is watch for, uh, watch rolling, for rolling rocks. It's forgivable, yeah. you know, a few more a presses than we're used to seeing on that star, but nonetheless, grabbing it nice and quick. And yeah, that C up camera strat, you don't see it very often. Not a lot of opportunities to use it in runs, but that camera zoom actually manages to influence Mario's momentum for some. Yeah, that you do definitely see that C up uh, method used in 120 star during the. TTM 100 coin 
do whatever, getting a nice glitchy wall kick and a lack two bounds to go with it. Very good stuff from him. Yep, getting go that, ahead. Uh, glitchy double jump as well. Ooh, going just beautiful. over the corner. And a very, very clean star from D. Yep, so go to having a lot of ground to make up and that's not going to help him much at all you know he was really needing d whatever to mess up once or twice on lack of bounce but whenever that slide music comes on d whatever pumps it up he is ready to go and chat go ahead and pull out those clocks again for rainbow ride and ttc both our players about to be in tippy once to go to finishes up with this final star in this hazy cave gonna be opting for christmas miracle last let's see if he's able to get it nice and clean yeah, TikTok clock. Uh, going to be coming up soon for D-Whatever after another two stars. I want to see nothing but clocks in chat for TikTok clock. Exactly right. I mean, when you hear that slime music come on, you know things are about to get real. There's a reason Nintendo used that same track for both those last two courses, and I'm not thinking that it had anything to do with cart limiting. Oh, no. It's just such a fantastic... Uh piece of music that can be used in so many stages using them for you know the later stages as well as the slides um it's like the whatever. equivalent of a um, it's like the equivalent of one. yakety sax uh that uh song from the benny hill show d whatever yeah. nice tricky triangles i mean he's done pretty well spotless on this rainbow ride at the moment yeah all he has also left is swing in the for, breeze uh, yeah also uh going for a nice uh Triple jump walk it going. I, I believe this is a fairly new um, swinging in the breeze strap. Not able to get that jump uh, right before the flame shooter there, but that's okay. So go to also getting the uh, the glitchy wall kick, getting that lack two bounds. I mean, Sigoto not letting up even with D whatever's crazy strats. Sigoto matching him so far here. Yep. Beautiful from both players amazing execution d whatever moving into ttc 100 this could be the make or break star probably the hardest one that d whatever's got left so let's see if he's able to execute looks like it so far missing one coin oh wait actually no uh, that coin being gained on the long jump commentator getting a little <laughs> bit apprehensively worried i mean this is this is a monka s moment yeah tiktok clock is definitely a very scary stage for everyone especially if you're on a pb pace run Look I'm at Sagoku sure with that tricky that. triangle strap. Wow. Yeah, both players definitely flexing the nice quick jumps on those upside down triangles there from Do Ever. A very uh, nice hundred coins from him. Yep, barring some severe mistake on one of the later stars, which could very well happen, the go to definitely has his work cut out for him could even be D whatever's race already. But again, you still got bits going forward. That's a pretty big hurdle to cross. I mean, TTC 100 is done for deal whatever, but I mean, the rest of TTC is no joke. There's definitely still room for error. He's going to be going for a moving TikTok clock movement here at the start. Let me go for a triple jump, wall kick onto these spinning platforms to get further up the clock very quick. Looks and, like he's going for the oh, miss, roll into the cage first. Yeah, he, he was going to go for the uh, Pendulum Star a little bit higher up, but uh, rubbed against the wall, lost a bit of speed. And Sigoto having a bit of trouble there with swinging in the breeze, going to be going for the backup with the triple jump off the fire shooter. But um, yeah, he will be joining D whatever in tick tock clock clocks in chat, please. Yeah, absolutely. That slide music's ramping up. Rev up those speed run fires. Now, D whatever. Going for those pendulums now, having just a little bit of issue, it looks like, but not, I mean, he's not losing a whole lot of time here. He's got three left, one of them being reds, not really a huge deal. So go to not opting to start off with 100 coin, going ahead and doing the movement up to, let's see, pendulums, it appears. Trying to get some of the easy stuff out of the way early, looks like. Cleaner pendulum execution, for sure. Yeah, that, but, that's the kind of movement that uh, we saw Dio ever wanting to go for. But uh, when he rubbed up against that wall, he, uh, you know, losing that bit of time. So go to waiting for the clock to be frozen. Probably going for the hundred coins now. Yep. And now we're going to be seeing D whatever going in 
to time stop, going for those time jumps on moving bars, but unfortunately not moving. So go to with a nice start to his 100 coin here. Ooh. Uh, a very nice back of that triple jump there, not losing too much time due to that. So, yeah, to go to with this 100 coins and do ever just climbing the clock to get this time jumps on rather frozen bars here. But, um, yeah, one more style left for do ever to go to missing that side flip. But, oh, also punching the air. Um, yeah, collecting all the coins from that box. And do whatever with just the red coins standing in its way. Yep, yeah, can be kind of tricky moving optimally up these panels, but not really something that we see a whole lot of deaths on. Having to take an extra ledge grab there. So go to finishing up his 100 coin. I think a little bit sloppier than D whatever, but nothing to scoff at at all. So D whatever. Oh, uh, getting... so go to going for the uh, triple jump wall kicks off the back. Having a bit of trouble getting up there. Going to just go right across and jump off the thwomp here but finishing up his uh 100 coin four stars left for him in ttc deal ever collecting that 70th star from toad yep and so d whatever moving his way onto the sky kind of forgetting how stairs work for a moment but that's okay to be going up these stairs which just now with that 70th star became non-endless Go to making his way into roll into the cage. He's just got to clean up a little bit of TTC and he's going to be out of there joining D whatever in bits. But D yeah, whatever. I, I believe he's on the uh, low 49 pace right now. So yeah, D whatever. That's... Definitely on a pretty nice run right here. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's kind of rare that we see a runner ending up with such a great pace in race situation. He's going to be going for moving right side here. And Nails gets it. it. Nice and clean. The only thing standing in his way is that Goomba RNG. Let's hope Commentator's Curse not in full effect at the moment. We're about to see Goomba in a kind of yeah, a bad that... spot, but getting around it. So he's going to be moving in on the big Koopa himself. Yeah, a very, very low 49 pace here for D-Whatever as to go to get in that triple jump on the uh, uh, red coins. Gonna be finishing that up. One more star left for him as do whatever hitting his first Bowser throw. Gonna be going Not for the second one him. here. Just barely mm. getting in the edge of that hitbox. You know, these extended range bombs, these runners have to know exactly where they can hit. Very clean three out of three throws for D whatever. And he's gonna be finishing out with, as you said, a low 49, probably a 49 OX. To go to missing that wall jump and ending up falling to his death in TTC on the very last star. Time jumps on stop bars. That's not a one that you want to go ahead and mess up on. D whatever, finishing out with a 49.06. An absolutely elegant race time. Let's see if we can get him into the call real quick for a post-race interview. Yeah, a low 49 in a race. That is, that is just such a good time to get. I mean, never mind getting a good race. Uh... Like getting a, a 49 in general is very difficult, but uh, getting such a low 49 in a race is very impressive indeed. So go to here, uh, getting Toadstar. And uh, we have D whatever in the call. Uh, oh. How do you feel with that run, man? A low 49, you've got to be happy with that. Nah, that was not good enough. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm scared um, of the upcoming rounds. Honestly, I I don't know. Wit mistakes at some point. At some points. Yeah, there, there were definitely some mistakes, but still, I love 49. That, I mean, it's still such a good race time. Uh, what yeah, do you I mean, think you did well in this run? And uh, sorry, what did you say? What What do you think the, you did particularly well in this run, and what do you think you didn't do so well on? Oh, um, it's kind of weird. I still was able to do hard strats, but then at some point I was just making, making really weird mistakes that I shouldn't do. <laughs> for example, in the flower land, I couldn't do reds properly, and so, uh, front sub, for example, went bad as well. And then I'm yeah. happy I got resource at least, <laughs> and those plus saves were also pretty okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got the uh, Tamapillus on the second go to go to, having a bit of trouble in uh, Sky here, but 
Yeah, both of you actually got Breezeless, uh, which was very nice to see his CO2 falling down here in Bowser in the Sky. But, yeah, uh, I mean, it, it really looked like the whatever. Your your only big mistake was with uh, Mips down in the basement having a bit of a issue getting your hands on him, but ooh, Sagotu just cannot oh, clutch no. it. Sagotu taking out a death in Sky. That is not what you want to see. Now, according to the bracket, you'll be moving on to face Jamil in your next round. How are you feeling about that matchup? You think you're going to be able to best him? Um, I think I'm good. <laughs> Because I, I've been playing all right in these races, maybe. Like, I keep getting 49s somehow. Yeah, get, getting so, 49s in races, that's got to get you pretty far in a tournament. That doesn't mean I'm not scared, though. I still have to be really careful, I think. It's, it's really hard to maintain that, not getting ahead of yourself. Yeah, you got to keep your head down and uh, keep getting these runs. Keep getting these 49s. Yeah, I think... Just fine in this tournament. <laughs> yeah. Just gotta be careful. Yeah, so you guys are having a lot of trouble here in Bowser in the Sky. Gonna be going for a left side triple jump wall kick. I feel like he'll be able to get a 53 here. Now, uh, D, whatever, I'm sure that a couple of our viewers are probably wondering about this. Were you aware of the uh, stream outage and uh, what, what were you thinking about that uh, when that was happening? Oh, I was just uh, thinking, should I say anything or just continue? I was just like, I'm just going to continue. <laughs> not going to get rid of my focus. Like, yeah. not good. Yeah. Yeah, real smart on that part. I mean, you know, some people may think that there was a bit of splicing going on, but we know it was played fair and square here at GSA. And so, uh, Ruby, you got any more questions for our guy? So go to... Oh, maybe... I, I saw him. <laughs> I, and then I can say, oh, on your YouTube, YouTube channel, I make sure that... All the races are full on there, so I'm just gonna... For the time when the stream was done, I was just gonna save the footage from our past broadcasts and put it on there. So if you want to watch that, it should be up tomorrow. Yeah, what was BBH like for you? I think we missed just about all of your BBH. Oh, uh, just pretty decent. BBH is uh, always pretty easy. There's not really hard strats in there, so... Just maybe one second behind my PB or best split. Yep, so it looks like Sagotu about to be joining us soon for an interview. Thanks so much, D Whatever. Uh, before Sagotu joins, Ruby, you got any more questions for D Whatever? Uh, I don't think I have any more questions other than just to say uh, good luck to you in the next round. And, All right, uh, thank you. Yeah, have a, a great time in the rest of the tournament. <laughs> yeah, so, GG. Uh, GG to Sigo, and yeah, thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. I mean, wonderful race from you. Those little errors were completely outshadowed, in my opinion, by what went right. And that is most of this run. I mean, not a whole lot to complain about, especially in SSL. That was impressive. I... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess. But yeah. See ya then. And we now have Sagotu in the call with us. Sagotu, oh. how are you feeling right now? Uh... I kind of knew that I was going to lose the race because D is a strong person, <laughs> a strong yeah. runner. First of all, GG's dude, but I was also scared of you, honestly. I, I thought I could lose with a 49, I don't know. <laughs> no, my consistency is a big problem, dude. <laughs> I got yeah, the words yeah, that. Yeah, but I mean, being, being a keyboard runner and getting things like uh, we saw you get uh, the Tamapillless and Breezeless. I mean, the, there were mistakes in the run, of course, but you did some very, very nice strats in here as well. So Yeah, I put a lot of attention to these strats, to these little quirks. Yeah, and I, I love to see you both with those very nice uh, cruiser stars and remember ride with the glitchy wall kick and flawless... Uh, Lack of two bounces. It was very nice to see. Absolutely. And I mean, aside from, you know, the unfortunate death in uh, Bowser in the Sky and those two deaths in SSL, just beautiful execution throughout. How much do you have to uh, end up tapping the keys rhythmically to end up getting kind of a off angle? And how many of those camera setups are unique to keyboard? We saw a lot of unique setups, but I'm sure we missed some of them too. Um, I think I don't use that much 
that many of the camera setups. Uh, there's a lot of them, but not as many as you guys think. I think Shans does more of them. I've seen his gameplay, and I think he does more of that stuff. And speaking of Shans, he does have a race later today. Um, we have another race at 4.30 p.m., another 70-star race with Super Viper versus Cartoon Buffoon. Um, we've got uh, <coughs> Super Mario Odyssey as well later on at 6 p.m. Eastern t Standard Time. Uh, Super Metroid 8, and then, of course, Shans versus the Blue Esports Triforce DK to close out the night. Uh, any final thoughts from uh, you guys, D and Sigotu, on this uh, race? Uh, I think I'm good. GG's again, dude. <laughs> GG. That was a good race. <laughs> I <All> agree. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, that'll do it for this interview. Thanks, guys, so much. And don't go anywhere, guys. Like uh, Ruby said, we've got another SM64 race coming up in about 30 minutes. That one will be Super Viper, Cartoon Buffoon. That'll be an awesome matchup. Again, that and this race, both sponsored by Vi.gg, exclamation point bet in the chat. All of our races throughout the day. And, of course, that next race, all on their site for PvP betting. So definitely go check them out. And with that, I'm Electric, and uh, along with my co-com, Ruby, 